We just keep improving. You know, I mean, I think, uh, you know, obviously it starts with uh, trying to slow down Anthony Edwards, Bradley Beal starting on the basketball, doing a great job. Our bigs, you know, really being up in pick and rolls to uh, prevent him from getting downhill. And, um, you know, there was just a lot of uh, improvement from last game. You know, we, we had a strong performance against the Cavs, but we, we challenged our guys to be even better because there was areas that we were we, we could still be better. Um, we don't want to be a good defense. We'll be a great defense. And uh, our guys responded. A lot of a lot of the stuff we worked on uh, carried over into tonight's game. I think Nurk is is really really grown throughout the course of the season as a rim protector, and just it's just blocking everything that comes to the basket, understanding the the drop coverage uh, that we want him to be in, and. Um, he's really trusting his teammates, you know, to go attack and block shots that his teammates will cover his back. So that piece is growing. And, uh, you know, the most impressive thing for me was that, you know, even though we had, uh, when we have 18 turnovers, they only had nine fast break points. Like we're recovering those possessions way better than we did uh, to even two weeks ago. You know, we just made a commitment. We say every day we're going to watch our transition defense and figure out how we can be better with our effort, focus, alertness. <clears throat> matching up uh, all those ways to save those possessions. And, you know, this was a, a response to that work. When you, in the past, when you've obviously installed new defenses with, with teams, is this the longest it's taken for them, to, for a team of yours to, to grasp it all, or, or is that a fair assessment? It's tough to measure. I mean, ideally, whatever team you're, you're with, you get stronger as the year goes on, you know, and, and that's that's been the case with this group. Their length and physicality had 29 assists on 32 games. Yeah, I mean, other than the turnovers, uh, I liked the way we played. I liked how fast we played. You know, we want to we want to be a team that, that can run, and we don't want to just play half court basketball against any opponent. Uh, we want to get out and play with pace. And um, yeah, I thought there was a com commitment to that tonight. You know, and uh, you know when we do that, and um, you know, I think that the balance of, of of getting everybody involved, you know, keeping the basketball moving. Um, if we could just get it, you know, that type of ball movement with, with a few two, fewer turnovers, um, got a chance to reach our potential. How much of a luxury is it to have KD in that weak side corner when Nurt catches the ball in the short roll? It makes that little man help really difficult to know what to do. Yeah, we've got weapons all over the floor. So if they want to bring two to the ball at the top of the floor, you know, it's a, we're going to have a high percentage of, uh, of, of punishing that, that type of coverage. So. And if they play, you know, play play base coverage, you know, we got guys that can then attack that and score at an efficient rate as well. That third quarter kind of turned into a rock fight. They're trying to muck the game up. How did you like the way that the guys kind of stayed composed and were able to push the lead back out again? Yeah, well, yeah, we started turning the ball over, you know, and that that's that part is an area we have to get better with. Um, but I think with within that stretch. You know, some of the guys in the, in the locker room were talking that even even though uh, we had some bad possessions offensively, our defense was great. Our defense held the fort down and, um, you know, kept us in the game, kept it, kept them from going on a run. You know, we weren't, we weren't scoring, but they weren't scoring either. And that's what you want with a great defense. Coach, in each of the last two games, you guys virtually led the entire time and survived the opposing runs. With all the criticism at the beginning of the season about closing out games, how do you think your ability to close out games has improved? Yeah, well, it's improving. You know, I mean, I still think we can score at a, at a, at a higher clip. Um, you know, but we're getting stops, you know, and we're preventing them from making runs. Uh, you know, that's good enough. But ideally, you know, you put your foot on the gas and you see a 20-point lead go up to 30. You know, that's what we're, we're hoping for. It seemed like once they dribbled inside the three-point line, your guys' hands were everywhere. How did you like the activity of the help on some of those drops? Yeah, our, our, gap, our gap helps of, uh, you know, I watched, I watched our game from when we played these guys earlier in the season, and it was night and day. I mean, just, just night and day how spread out, spread apart our defense was. We were not a tight shell. And, um, you know, we've really grown. You know, that's, it's, it takes, takes time. It's habits, you know, and uh, f film sessions and practice and shell defense and drill work and, you know, just continuing to pound the rock, you know, until the habits really start to form. And, um, you know, those guys were, were great in that regard tonight. Would you say this is the best you felt about this team throughout the whole season uh, today? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to get too high and too low. I mean, you know, Minnesota didn't play their best game tonight. You know, they're, they're, they're a hell of a basketball team, you know, and we did some good things. We played well. But, um, you know, we know when, when they're at their best, you know, they're going to they're gonna be better than they showed tonight. We'll expect that in the last game of the year. And, 
Um, you know, they're doing a great job over there. One of the things that did well in the beginning, especially, was get to the paint, get inside the paint, score inside the paint. How much was that a factor from the way you guys jumped off? Yeah, it's a big factor, and it's hard to do with Rudy in there. You know, so um, you know they're number one in the league in, in defending the paint, and you know we have we have guys that hopefully can bring Rudy away from the basket with our shooting ability.